Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Across the Ocean, the YouTube show for lovers of underwater image making. My name's James in Miami. And this is Matthias, straight from Zurich. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Across the Ocean. We took a hiatus in January because both Matthias and I were incredibly busy, but it's great to see you again, mate. Uh, and I couldn't be happier to be back here in the studio with you. Likewise, it's fantastic to see your smiling face after all these weeks that I haven't been able to speak directly to you. Yeah, and so much to look forward to. We, we were talking just before we started rolling cameras about all the travel, that we're doing this year. And obviously you've clicked on this video so you know we've got a big announcement coming up. Uh, but before we get to yep. that, uh, I personally have the Rebreather Forum in Malta, which is gonna be some diving. Uh, I've got a sold out trip to uh, South Africa for the sardine run, we're back to do that for the second time. Uh, and then you and I are co-hosting our trip to the Philippines, uh, which is also not just sold out, but waitlisted. Uh, and then you have another trip coming up in, in the spring as well, right? Yes, I do have another trip coming up in April. I'll be doing a scouting trip to the Maldives, checking out a little area to see if it's suitable for a future workshop location. And I have the opportunity to bring a couple of people with me on that trip to join me. It's not gonna be a formal workshop, but it's really more of a get together with some friends and just dive the hell out of the Maldives really and uh, explore the area. And uh, I do still have a couple of spots available for that trip. So if you're interested, I think there's gonna be a link down in the video description that will take you to all the details for that. But that's not what we're here to talk about, is it? It's not, but I'm, I'm a little bit jealous because I would love to come and dive the Maldives with Matthias. So it's a very lucky few people that you're gonna get to take out there and scout an area that's not normally dived. It's gonna be a little bit more expedition style. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very jealous of that. But no, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about 2024. Yeah, we're already looking ahead. We are so encouraged by the response that we got from everyone for the Philippines trip. Uh, and you know, people just signing up because they want to dive with both Matthias and I on the same trip in an amazing place of the world that we've picked another destination to take a large group trip to uh, in 2024. Uh, you want to tell them where we're heading, Matthias? No, come, you go and tell no, them. No, no, you tell them, you tell them. No, come on, you tell them. You tell them. All right, we'll tell them together. We'll tell them together. Ready? Okay, we tell them together. Drum where roll, are we please. going? We're going to... Three, two, one, Indonesia. Indonesia. Absolutely. So we are hosting a uh, two week trip, slightly over two weeks if you count travel days, uh, to both Bali and Komodo. So it's gonna be a two part trip. The part one is gonna be in Bali, which is gonna be resort based at the beautiful Alan Batu Resort. Uh, and the, there's many advantages that that offers to us. And we'll talk about those in this video in a little bit more depth. And then part two is a liverboard, which leaves from Bali. So we're gonna be sailing straight from Bali down to Komodo to do, I mean, basically just some of the best diving in the world. So part one and part two, and you have the option to just come for the resort or just come for the liverboard, or ideally to do both and have the full experience of both different styles of diving. Um, so really, really excited for that. Um, Matthias has kind of championed uh, this project. I kind of championed the, the Philippines a little bit more, but Matthias did all the work on the brochure, uh, which we will of course link in the description of this video below. Uh, but why uh, did we choose uh, Bali and Komodo specifically, Matthias? Well, that's a, that's a good question because there's so many dive spots around the world, but why Bali and Komodo? Well, Bali has a very sentimental, um, it, it feels very sentimental to me because I was lucky enough to have lived in Bali for a year while I was still working as a, uh, as a scuba instructor back in 2010, that was. So that's like 13 years ago. And, uh, and that was the first time I actually got onto the island. And I have to say, I fell in love with that island from like the very first moment I set my, my foot onto that island. Not just because it's got some of the best diving I have seen anywhere in the world, really, but also because the people are so incredibly friendly. The culture is so rich, colorful, and there's so much stuff that you can also see on land. So it is, it is really a, 
amazing destination, not just for divers, but also for people who are non-divers or don't dive maybe as often as we too like to dive. And I know that we had a couple of requests also for the Philippines trip um, of people that had um, partners who are non-divers and they were asking whether or not it is possible to bring them on the trip. And of course this is possible in the Philippines or was possible, it's not anymore because it's booked out, but it was possible. But in, in Bali it definitely is possible, even if you have someone who's not a diver, you can bring that person onto the trip. So Bali has a very special meaning to me and in combination with Komodo, it is for me just the perfect combination in terms of variety that you will have throughout those two weeks but with a very, very easily manageable logistical logistical part involved in the trip. Because as you were saying, we are going to be leaving from Bali onto the liverboard. So there is, it, it's just really, really easy to get from one place to another and combine these two together. And, uh, and I just can't wait. I don't even know what else to say about this location and this combination. And we were planning on making this announcement for quite some time and I have really yeah, had to it's, it's super fantastic. To um, I've been to Bali. I've spent time have. on the island. Um, I haven't done really much diving there. Certainly not as much as you. Uh, I did my dive master in Indonesia, uh, in the Gili Islands, which are just between Bali and Lombok. Uh, and the diving there isn't as good as it's supposed to be in Bali, and certainly not Komodo. Um, so I'm just, for me personally, looking forward to seeing more of Indonesia um, because I don't feel like I've had the best of Indonesia yet and Komodo and Bali are certainly going to be that for me. Um, so I think I'm going to talk a little bit about, you mentioned logistics there, what we wanted to do, you know, we know it's a, a big commitment to go on a dive trip like this, so we want to make it as easy as possible and the, the reason we chose Bali and the resort that we've paired up with for those reasons that Matthias said, if you have a non-diving partner, well first off I feel bad for you, um, but at least you can bring them on this vacation and they're not going to be bored because you can go diving and your partner has a ton it's barley there are temples to go and see there's markets to go and shop at there are beaches to relax on there's lots of non-diving related activities that a non-diving partner can do and our resort is ideally placed for that um, we're also offering two different packages for part one for the resort where you can either if you're a hardcore diver and you just want to do as many dives as possible we have a package that has unlimited diving and then we have another package which offers three dives a day but also includes spa treatments also includes land excursions as well so you kind of break up the the diving with some non-diving activities as well so depending on your level of seriousness as a diver we can kind of cater to everyone so that was sort of goal number one for the for the trip was make it appeal to as many people as possible and give you guys lots of options for how much diving you want to do whether or not you're a diver there's still activities for you and all that fun stuff um, the second reason that we cho chose bali as well is international flights bali has a major airport uh, that served from a lot of international hubs so it is quite easy to get into bali and then we've arranged all the transportation to pick you up from the airport, bring you to the resort, and then either back to the airport, or if you're doing part two, which is the liverboard heading down to Komodo, we will be going straight from the resort to the port, getting on the liverboard, going out and doing our, our cruise around Komodo, seeing the dragons, doing all the fantastic diving, coming back to Bali, and then transport back to the airport and flying straight back out again to your home destination. So we tried to make it as simplistic as possible, but at the same time, give you guys a ton of options. And as Matthias already said, all of the details for that trip will be in the trip brochure, including the booking form that you need to send us in order to secure your place. Now, that being said, let's talk about the diving because you have a lot more experience diving in, well, you have all the experience between the two of us diving in Komodo and Bali. Um, why don't you talk about what we can, what the differences are between diving Bali and diving in Komodo? Yeah, yeah, um, with pleasure, James, thank you. Um, and this is also why we've chosen this combination because I think it really offers a, a, a whole variety of different diving environments. I mean. Bali, if you've ever seen any images of Bali, 
Um, it really, it really is, especially the place where we are, which is going to be on the northeastern coast of Bali, um, very close to one of the most famous dive sites of Bali, which is the wreck of the um, SSU uh, Tulamban, uh, which is a uh, sorry SSU Liberty, which is in Tulamban. That's the right way around. Um, so this is like an old. Uh, wreck which has been down there for many many years and it's very easily accessible because it sits pretty much by the beach um, and it's just a ton of wildlife that has accumulated over that wreck it's not really a wreck anymore it's an artificial um, reef really there's a couple of sort of um, ways how you can swim into the wreck like the cargo hole and stuff but it's very easily done and it's, it's some really really cool diving that's very close to the resort and the typical diving that you can expect around the resort is black sand because it is a volcanic island. So you've got mostly black volcanic sand and with the very colorful, vibrant, vibrant colors that all the smaller creatures and animals have that are living around that area. They, they stand out against the black volcanic sand in a way which I had not seen before I started diving in Bali. It is, it is an explosion of colors. It is really incredible. And there is certain spots where you can do some, some muck diving, some really small, um, weird macro diving, but there's also a lot of places where you get plenty of really nice coral reefs, plenty of corals. There's lots of hard corals. There's uh, big, um, big sponge corals, big gorgonia fans, all that sort of stuff can be found there as well. Um, and also it's very, very easy diving. There's mostly not a lot of current and you can access most dives, you can access them either from the beach itself or with a very short boat ride uh, from the resort. Most of the dives are actually done by boat, anywhere between three to maybe 10 minutes by boat to each of the dive sites. You just drop in and because it is an area that is not too crowded, most of the time, our boats are going to be the only ones on the dive side. And that's also something that I value a lot in such a location that it's not, not crowded with people and you're not actually seeing more divers than, than marine creatures down there, but you have the place to yourself and you can explore it at your own pace and without having, you know, to push other divers out of your way to be able to look at, a, uh, at an interesting uh, creature, at a rhinopia or at a pygmy seahorse or at a um, ribbon eel or whatever else you can find in, uh, in the areas there. So that's, that's about Bali, the diving. There's obviously other areas of Bali that include different types of diving. We have up in the north, we have the Menjanga National Park, which is more white sand, um, sort of um, wall diving. We're most likely not gonna be going out there simply because what we can find there is what we can find in Komodo later on in the trip as well. Because Komodo is slightly different to what we have in Bali in terms of we'll be going to different areas along the way, going from Bali all the way out to Komodo and spending some time in the Komodo National Park and then coming back to Bali. And along the way, we'll be seeing pretty much everything from shallow reef dives with beautiful hard corals, beautiful soft corals, to drop-offs, walls, canyons. We'll get our um, big animals there as well. Bali itself is probably not so well known for the big stuff. So you can see turtles definitely. You can see some sharks here and there. Um, but then for the big stuff, that's definitely the Komodo portion of the trip where manta rays are on uh, on the menu there. Well, the menu. not on the menu, that was <laughs> wrongly. But no, no, people, on the absolutely menu. not. Matthias Lieber is not advocating the eating of manta rays on our trip. Okay, I just want to be clear about that. Well, you have, you have to excuse me. This is me not being English native speaking. <laughs> but what I was trying to say is that manta rays are gonna be um, on, we'll see manta rays on the dive sites that we're going to be visiting in uh, the Komodo National Park. Obviously, we're going to be going to uh, the Komodo Island or to Rinka Island, seeing the Komodo dragons. There's going to be plenty of sharks, plenty of uh, larger schools of fish, all that sort of stuff is what you can expect to see in, uh, in and around the Komodo um, area. And so that differs quite a lot from what we can see in Bali. And Closing that circle again, that's also the reason why we've chosen uh, these two 
these two areas to combine together in this trip because it gives you a just a really really nice and round experience of what Indonesia really has to offer when it comes to the diving yeah absolutely yeah it's the best of both worlds it truly is so very very excited for that and I want to highlight a couple of things you touched on there Matthias um, obviously Matthias Nye's focus is underwater filmmaking, underwater videography, uh, photography and so on. But these trips are not just for underwater photogs. And uh, you know, we got questions about that when people were booking for the Philippines trip of like, hey, I, I love diving, I wanna come and dive with you guys in the Philippines, but I'm not really one for taking photos or videos, I don't have a camera, it doesn't interest me. Totally fine. It's still the best diving in the world and it's not a photo specific trip. So if you're not into photography videography we will buddy you up with either a guide from the resort or somebody else on the trip who was also not a photographer and you guys can do your dive plan you're not going to be buddied up with someone who's spending 45 minutes trying to take a macro photo of a mandarin fish it's it's wide open to everyone whether you're a photographer or not and as Matthias said both legs of the trip the resort in bali and the second part the liverboard in komodo are open to divers of all levels and experiences. We were getting emails on the Philippines trip, or I was at least, where people were saying, hey, I just got my open water, I've got four dives, can I come to the Philippines with you? And my answer was, yes, absolutely. And the same goes for, for our time in Indonesia. So if you're a new diver, this is like a great way to get international experience and some of the best diving in the world. And to be honest, if you're coming on our trip to Indonesia and you've just finished your open water course, Lucky I'm kind you. of jealous because my you. my first 500 dives were in the English Channel and I didn't see anything for 500 dives. Nothing. I saw <laughs> cabbage soup. So if you've done your open water class and you're coming to Bali, you know, you're welcome, but I'm also kind of jealous. So congrats and that's awesome and uh, we'd love to have you with us. So yeah, both trips are open to photographers and non-photographers and both trips are open to divers of yep, all yep. levels. I think that sums Absolutely. it up pretty nicely. Yeah, thanks for, for clarifying that. That's very important that we that we made this clear. Also, I wanna um, I wanna just mention as well that we do have some workshop portions, some knowledge development portions, some presentations, mini challenges, mini workshops included in uh, especially the first section of the trip, which is going to be held at uh, the Alambato Resort, but they are all um, optional. So there is no obligation to attend to any of these uh, of these extra sessions that uh, you, James, and myself will be holding throughout the trip. They're an option, and if you want to listen in and um, and learn a little bit from our experience, you're more than welcome. But as I said, it's completely optional, and if you much rather just want to get in that one extra dive at the end of the day rather than sitting in and listening to James or myself then go for it why not but we are offering some some of these extra options and you're more than welcome to attend to them uh, but again completely optional thank you for that yeah absolutely so that's about all the information you need and anything else you can find in the description of this video below in the beautiful brochure that Matthias has put together. Uh, the last two pages of that brochure are the booking form. And all of our emails are down there, all of our contact details. Uh, so you just fill out the last two pages of that form, send it in to us to reserve your space, and then we'll sort out deposits and payment and all that kind of stuff down the line. But the most important thing is if you're interested in that trip, get those last two pages of the form to us because the order in which they received and the order in which we designate places and spaces. So if you don't want to miss out, get that form into us ASAP. Um, I think that's about it, buddy. Uh, again, you know, we, we, we're talking about 2024. We've still got the Philippines that we're doing together. Uh, you've got the Maldives. I've got the sardine run, Malta. Like there's so much good stuff happening. And again, in this sort of post COVID era that we find ourselves in, People are excited to travel and probably no one more than you and I. That's the perfect ending sentence to this video. I don't even know what else to say. Um, I'm immensely excited about uh, not just the Indonesia trip, obviously also about the coming trips uh, to the Maldives and then to the Philippines. But this Indonesia trip really is it's something that's coming like from the bottom of my heart. And this is a very, very special trip for me. And I, I, 
I just, I don't know how lucky I am to be able to come on this trip with you guys um, and experience some of the best diving in the world. So it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be fantastic. It's yeah, be fantastic. I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Matthias, buddy, I will see you next yeah. month. Uh, where I believe we're talking about smart housings or housings for smartphones we underwater. Are indeed, a very interesting, up-to-date and current topic that we definitely need to get our heads around. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. Take see care. You see you in the next month. video. Bye-bye.